Mr. Petrovich, I take it that your client has received a copy of the uh, amended indictment in a language which he understands, and that you've had the opportunity of going <coughs> through it with him. Counsel who was here last week undertook to do that. Uh, is that right? Tako je časni sude. Moj klijent je dobio optužnicu na srpskom jeziku. Mi smo imali priliku da je zajedno pročitamo, da razmotrimo sve njene sve njene aspekte. Gospodin Došen je razumeo optužnicu, razumeo je šta mu se stavlja na teret i spreman je da se danas izjasni na navode iz optužnice. Very well. The final matter is this before we deal with the indictment. Does he wish to have the indictment read out in full or is he prepared to waive that? Uh, right, as you as you know, there is a right to have the indictment uh, read out in full, but frequently it's waived to save time. Ja sam sa gospodinom Došenom razgovarao o tome. Dovoljno je da se pročitaju same optužbe bez čitanja ostalih postavki optužnice. Hvala. Yes, thank you. Uh, let the accused stand. Mr. Doshin, uh, you've heard what your counsel has said, that you've had the indictment uh, in a language you understand. You've been through it with him, and you're in a position to enter a pleas today. Is that right? read to you the counts in the indictment uh, and to each you must enter a plea. Kindly confine your answers to guilty or not guilty. The first three counts relate to alleged offences uh, between the 24th of May and the 30th of August 90, 1992 in Keratom Camp. Count 1, persecutions on political, racial or religious grounds, a crime against humanity punishable under Articles 5H, 7.1 and 7.3 of the Statute of the Tribunal. Uh, how do you plead guilty or not guilty? <laughs> Count two inhumane acts, a crime against humanity, punishable uh, under Articles 5, uh, 1, 7, 1, 7, 3 of the statute. How do you plead guilty or not guilty? <laughs> Outrages upon personal dignity, a violation of the laws or customs of war, as recognized by Article 3.1c of the Geneva Conventions of 1949, punishable under Articles 3.7.1 and 7.3 of the Statute of the Tribunal. How do you plead, guilty or not guilty? Some grief. Counts four to seven relate to alleged offences on or about the 25th of June 1992 in room two of the camp. Count four, torture, a crime against humanity, punishable under articles five F 7.1 and 7.3 of the statute. How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Count 5. Torture. A violation of the laws or customs of war, 
recognized by Article 3.1a of the Geneva Conventions of 1949, punishable under Articles 3, 7.1 and 7.3 of the statute. How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Nissan Grieve. Count 6. Inhumane Acts, a crime against humanity, punishable under Articles 5.1, 7.1 and 7.3 of the tr statute. How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Nissan <coughs> Grieve. Count 7. Cruel treatment of violations of the laws or customs of war, recognized by Article 3.1a of the Geneva Conventions of 1949, punishable under Articles 3, 7.1 and 7.3 of the statute. How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Nissan Grieve. Yes, you may be seated. Mr. Neiman, that concludes uh, the putting the indictment. Sure. Uh, this matter uh, clearly is in no position at the moment to proceed. No. But it, it may be sensible to do what we can, yeah, sure. if anything. Uh, the the uh, defence have had all the material, have they? The, the uh, confirmation material has been uh, disclosed on here. There is another accused, of course, on this indictment. Yes, sir. How do you propose to go on from here? Well, Your Honours, it um, will be our submission that the matters should proceed together and that um, um, at all next occasions when... Um, the other accused um, is to come before the tribunal, so should this accused and the matter to proceed that way. I don't know um, at this stage what the, the position is with respect to when a hearing of the matter involving the accused uh, Kalunzia uh, will proceed, but uh, I would imagine it will be some time after the Kovotchka case, Your Honour, so I think it uh, may be some time. But we're in a position to uh, make available the material in a reasonably timely manner, and uh, because both uh, both the cases are prepared for trial, so we we can uh, we can proceed rather quickly. In that what what is the extent of this case? There are the ex the seven counts. How many witnesses are we looking at? Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Huh? Yes. Yes. You I can say it this way, probably about 50 to 60 witnesses. The position is that the evidence is identical to the evidence that will be led against the accused Zigic in the other case and the accused uh, Kolunzia and this, this, this accused, Your Honour. So um, uh, it, it is the same evidence, exactly, in relation to the three accused. And we, we think about 50 to 60 witnesses, Your Honour. So what is that, four months for the prosecution? Something of that order? Um, a month, I think. Uh, yes, I would, I would imagine you know, six weeks would probably dispose of the prosecution case. Right? Well, there will be a, a hearing in uh, the case of the, the co-accused, I anticipate, certainly in January. Let's make some inquiries about that. Yes, there is, there is no date at the moment for a status conference for the co-accused, but I anticipate there will be one towards the end of January, 
and it may be sensible, would be sensible for this accused to appear at the same time. Yes, we, we, would, su we would suggest that, Your Honour. Well, it's going to require further uh, amendments to the indictment, is it not? We're going to produce a joint indictment. No, Your Honour, uh, uh, I think the indictment has in fact been joined. It's, uh, there is a, a process, complicated as it is, but uh, they're served individually, but there, was what, there in fact exists one joint type in that. Yes, but there are other people involved. It has, they, they can't proceed to trial, no? Yes, mm. so at some stage we shall need a new indictment. I guess so. just these two on it. I guess we so. yeah. Yes, well, thank you very much. Okay. Is there anything else we can usefully do today? I, I don't think so. Well. Thank you. Mr Petrovich, you've heard what suggested. Uh, this matter will have to proceed with the uh, co-accused. Uh, there is um, uh, a status conference um, uh, in his case which will have to be fixed in January and it would seem sensible for this accused uh, to appear at the same time. Da, to zaista zvuči, zvuči, zvuči razumno. Samo me zanima da li da li tužilaštvo će formalno staviti zahtev za izmenu optužnice spajanja ove dve ili kakav je uopšte njihov pravni status, to je ono što me što me zanima u ovom trenutku u odnosu na optužnicu Kolundžija i optužnicu Došen to je prva stvar i druga stvar je ja sam neke materijale dobio sadam osam izjeva svedoka da li je to dakle sav supporting materijal uz ovu optužnicu i da li se dakle može već smatrati da mi je sav materijal uručen i da počenju teći rokovi za izjavljivanje preliminarnih pregovora u ovoj stvari. To su dve stvari koje bih volao da razjasnimo. Well, from what the prosecution have said, the answer to that, to that question is yes. Clearly, some sort of joint indictment also will have to be produced so that the two can be tried together. Your client did not appear last week because he was suffering from uh, an injury sustained playing volleyball, as I understand it. He's, he's now recovered, is he? Da, da, to je tačno. To je tačno i danas je uz velike napore došao u sud, obzirom na velike bolove u leđima koje ima posebno kada mu se stavlja pancir prilikom transporta do tribunala. Ne, samo bih molao, samo bih molio da tužilaštvo, dakle, precizira da li je to sav supporting materijal i da li rokovi počinju da teku, dakle, od danas ili to je ono što bih volao da se razjasni. Yes, that's right, John, that is correct. Yes, is the answer, as I thought. Mr. Dorshan, would you stand up, please? That concludes the initial appearance. Uh, as you've heard, there are various preliminary matters which uh, have to be covered, various um, steps which have to be taken before your case will be ready for trial. And you will appear with uh, your co-accused uh, at a date which is to be fixed in January which will be your next court appearance. And I will adjourn until then. All right.